take a peek at what's going on out here lord father hmm. it's november and look at the snow already coming down at least i'm not in yeah, buffalo boy. cold windy snow coming down but we in the kitchen here we're warming things up caribbean sunshine today hey it's all kind of good things happening in the kitchen here chris here caribbeanpod.com welcome to my kitchen today i've got some fish mm -mm -mm -mm. After posting the recipe for those Caribbean style chicken strips I did a while back, I'll have a link for that somewhere around here. Just click on there. You'll love that recipe. After posting that recipe, I got a lot of emails asking, Chris, what about a fish version? So today that's what we're doing, a Caribbean style fish. And this is good for fish and chips, just for sandwiches, all kind of nice things you could do with this. Let's get cooking. And I have here one pound of sole fillets. Um, as far as I know, they've been, they've been deboned. What I did was, um, these were previously frozen, so what I would recommend is after if you wash them, squeeze them, like pressed on them, to remove most of that water that will be in there. And I, all I did was I washed it with some water and lemon juice. Make sure there's no bones, just pass your hands over them. And what we're going to do now is season them, and for that, it's pretty simple. I've got here some sea salt, and you can use whatever salt you have. Some fresh ground black pepper. And we're not using any Caribbean sunshine today. No scotch bonnet pepper. So you'll notice I went in kind of heavy with that black pepper. If you want, if you have some hot sauce or pepper sauce and you want to do that, hey, it'll add a nice kick to it. Caribbean green seasoning. I will have a link for that if you have not already made it. Make up a batch, put it in the fridge or put it in the freezer. You'll always have use for that. That thing is so versatile. So all we would do now is pretty much, I may have to get my hands in there, is massage all these pieces of fish with that green seasoning and allow that to marinate for about 30 minutes. I have about three cups of vegetable oil heating on a medium high flame. So it's time to make the batter now. And I'm starting here with one egg. Just gonna break that up first. Then I'm gonna go in with some salt, black pepper. I've got here all purpose flour and all the ingredients that we use here today will be mentioned on the website as well as down in the description. That's gonna move that around a little bit. And we're gonna go in with carbonated water or soda water as we call it down in the Caribbean. Try to get it as cold as you can get it. That's gonna give it a nice airiness. Now you can use any sort of water you want. You can use plain water or if you want to go in with a beer you can do that. If you want to just use water what you can do is go in with about, uh, about a teaspoon of um, baking powder. That's gonna give it a nice little something. So all you want to do is pretty much mix that and what I did was I chopped up just the green part of that scallion. Just gonna work that around. Try not to overwork it because you want sort of texture and body to this, right? And that's it. I have some flour, just plain old all-purpose flour in a bowl here. The seasoned fish and that batter we made. So the first thing you want to do just grab one of these pieces of fish, just roll it in the flour, dust off the extra flour, and then into, into the batter. Then we're gonna put those into the hot oil. My oil is nice and hot now, and how I figured that out, I just tossed in a little bit of that batter, and right away you're getting that nice sizzle. It is just vegetable oil in a high, in a pot with high sides. So this is a Dutchie pot, a traditional Caribbean pot. And as I said, all you would do is after you've you've dipped it in the batter, you would just go into that that hot oil. After a couple minutes on one side, you just want to flip them over to get color on the other side, because fish cooks very quickly. And the last thing you want to do is overcook this. So these are just about done. Beautiful color, golden color here. So I have here a wire basket with some paper towels. I'm just gonna set those on here just to get that extra oil out of the way, to sap it all up. 
and I will continue frying the rest of them. Just gonna take the last batch out of the, uh, the hot oil here. And what I forgot to mention, a couple things I forgot to mention. The reason why I'm using a pot with high sides is because I'm notorious for making a huge mess when frying on the stove. So to avoid any splattering, that high side will really come in handy. And the second thing is if you want to give this an extra little kick of flavor, what you can do is add about half of a teaspoon, maybe a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon of curry powder to that batter that we made. At the end here, what you can do if you want to add some more salt, you can sprinkle some salt on there. and These are good to go. I personally like it with Bernays sauce. You can use tartar sauce, you can use ketchup. Do your thing, whatever you enjoy your fish with. I mean, let's say there's some pepper sauce. Hey, it good? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com asking you, begging you, do not give your kids, your loved ones, fish sticks. You know the ones I'm talking about in the blue box? Mm -mm, no good for all you. Trust me. Make this. This fish sticks or fish nuggets or whatever you want to call it. It's so easy to put together and it is much better. I mean, we're frying it. You can't get away from the frying part. But it is much tastier, much healthier than all the preservatives and all that. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Do give this recipe a try. Check out CaribbeanPod.com. Click thumbs up. Leave comments below. And smile. <laughs>